Let's all be honest, you guys would love to wake up seeing that one of your levels has been mythic rated and played by millions of people. Mythic is currently the highest level rating you can get in Geometry Dash and it has this particle effect with a cyan fire around it which looks absolutely insane and currently in the game we have only one single mythic rated level now the reason for that is one because there are probably not enough levels that deserve mythic in the first place and second of all Robtop has said that he is gonna rate mythic levels maybe once or twice a year in a whole 365 days we're gonna get one or two mythic ratings which is absolutely crazy so in today's video i just want to be going over the things that towerverse has done to get the mythic rating and what i personally believe you could do in your level in order to achieve the mythic rating but firstly i would say let's take a look on robtop's platformer levels because i do believe that the way that these levels were constructed is very very important these are basically the first ever four levels that we have ever gotten from platformer mode and these ones were made by robtop which is the same person that is going to give ratings so if there's something that robtop likes to see in platformer mode we're definitely gonna find it in these levels so this is the first ever screen what is there noticeable now of course this is not mythic deserved this is probably maximum like a featured but there are still a lot of things that robtop likes that he puts into these levels and the first thing they can see here is it is exactly clear what you have to do there are coins there that are animating that are telling you go this way and there are also green spikes that are glowing and they have this kind of fire going around it so once you see the screen you are exactly gonna know where to go what to avoid and what your prerogative is so that is very very simple and then it slowly introduces new stuff so from this we can take that if you want a mythic rated level the first thing you're gonna have of course there are a lot of things that you have to calculate for but one thing that is really important is how readable is your level and we can see in here instantly that the green stuff is deadly and the purple stuff or the orange stuff is something that you can interact with so it is very very readable and now here we have fireballs this is very very simple it kind of teaches the player what the heck is going on of course this is like the first ever platformer level that is introduced to geometry dash so of course there are also going to be elements of teaching the player what platformer mode even is what checkpoints are and all these things now all these things you don't have to do in order to get a mythic rated level in fact i think if you do them you will have a disadvantage when it comes to getting the mythic rated level now another thing we can see here in this cutscene is the storytelling these are not just some random platformer levels that are just going to teach you mechanics no these things actually have a story and in case you didn't see this guy saw me he scanned me and then he saw me absolutely incredible like my mind blew when i heard that he saw me after scanning me but here we have the same guy again so this is very important look at the way i'm gonna go down you see i went downwards and then the level ended so this is a transition into the next level which goes through the pipe and goes down like that so one other th another thing for the storytelling in the first level is that you can see the hold up a second what the heck is that isn't that the boss that you're gonna be fighting at the very very end yes indeed aren't you in a tower like place that you shouldn't be in we see that once you click on the tower for the first time ever we have scratch telling you that you should not be here and this is not a place this is like an abandoned place so this plays a huge part into the story now of course you can't make your level have scratch or talking over it however if you go to the tower verse he integrated this system this talking system into the level this is really really important my dudes because otherwise you will not be able to have any story whatsoever so if you talk to this guy he will actually talk to you and you can even change the language so this is this is the way this level does it you can talk to people you can change the language and every now and then there's a mushroom that you can interact with so that is already a lot of storytelling 
making you understand why you are here and what your goal is like what the heck are you doing here it's it's not supposed to be just a random platformer level you just spawn in no add a lot of story make make everything make sense basically if there's if there's a monster hanging in there just don't just add it there just add a little bit of story around it just make it make sense why this thing is even in here in the first place the camera scanning you and saying i see you was not random this was done because this is a tower that you're not supposed to be in and another mark we have is in that i'm just gonna be like pretending that this is all one single level all right i think this makes a lot of sense because there's one more thing that i want to go over in a bit but listen closely you should not be here so again this guy is very upset that you are in here and we have like small little things you know talking things like some like extra spicy stuff that doesn't really have much to do with the story but it's just a nice thing to have now these are points that i would recommend writing on your notepad or maybe somewhere on your pc so that once you are making a level you can just keep in mind that these are all ticked one by one and we can see this guy the camera guy he's he's, he's always there you know this is and it's this is not a place that is easy to avoid you, you're gonna have some skills there are spikes there so this is a place that nobody should enter you know it's like a security type of thing we saw the skull down there doing stuff and we have here the spikes so it is like not wanting you to get there which is a big part of the story now these are just examples that you can take to ba basically bring it to your level you don't really have to do the exact same thing but stuff like that where the camera appears multiple times where the area that you're in makes a lot of sense where the details that you add are there for a reason and not just randomly put there is very very important i'm warning you this is also another sign that you are not supposed to be here this is basically like the message of this level and that is basically the storytelling all along in case you didn't know what storytelling is now you absolutely know and you also know how to integrate it into your own level using the geometry dash features now i also make tutorials in case you want to know how to do certain things so watch those if you want and i do believe that if you really go all in for it for a mythic that you're gonna get one if you really really truly want to i think it's gonna happen and you also put a lot of effort into it it is going to happen and another thing we have is that this level is pretty long this level is like an hour long so that might have also played a role in making this level getting that rate that it got and another thing is that this is also very important i talked about the 3d level that we we have like the legendary rated one three depth a level where you can move around in 3d and i talked about how this level got legendary like the aspect of originality played a huge role in getting this level its rates it's 3d it's really well executed and all of these things and also another thing i want to just slide in here nemo has told me that he has added a low detail mode he has updated the level you can see version 2 an hour ago okay and yeah in case you had any issues with it just play it now and it should be very very fine so originality originality is really really important now this is something that i just want to say because a lot of people do it for some reason like if you go to any platformer level right now that is not rated like this one like not featured i mean you're gonna see that things that you see in here are things that you usually see in most platformer levels so it's really nothing that special now nothing against this level i haven't played it but i'm just giving you guys an example that's like the majority of levels have the same thing and one thing that i see a lot of times is like i play a lot of platformer levels and one thing that i see a lot is people just use ideas over and over again like you have a a key and you have a door with a lock on it like this is something that th th that doesn't work anymore if you want to have a rate you can't do these type of stuff you had you gotta add a little bit more to it you gotta add like a twist to it or make it a little bit more fun because there are so many levels right now that have just you know collect this key to unlock this door even if it was like a small section you can't just have that in your level if you want to aim for a mythic you gotta add a little bit of twisting maybe if you click the button then you have a certain amount of time before the door closes you know just get a little bit more creative and don't just add your ideas straight up you, you gotta like play around with them 
add a little bit of twisting to it and you should be very good to go. And this doesn't only go for like doors and stuff like that. This goes for anything else. Like just play the recent platformer levels and see what they have in common and just try to avoid using the same things that they are doing. And we can see this also in Robtops levels, like none of these things have repeatedly used features like ever. This one uses fireballs and uses like soul blades and blocks that move around and rotate around. This one uses a huge, very and very cool like elevator going upwards. And so that is completely unique from the first one. And the third one uses some really cool techniques with fireballs and has this Mario section where you gotta like dodge these things. And then there's a cutscene. And after that, there are like crystals that you gotta avoid. So you see these three levels, while they are connected, they have like very little in common when it comes to repeatedly used features or repeatedly, repeatedly used gimmicks, I should say. And the last level starts off very simple with things falling on you and, you know, fireballs and stuff like that. But then it goes into like a completely different room, like a factory like room where you have to jump above back boxes and stuff like that. And then there is like a Pac-Man type of game. So it is really, really unique. Like all of these levels are so unique from one another. And the last one also has a boss, which is another thing that is really, really cool. And I have played the tower verse and I have seen that this level, like there are no repeatedly used things. Like this level is like an hour long. <laughs> it is really, really long. And that, that is how much I spent on it. It's probably like 20 minutes long without like checkpoint respawning and stuff like that but overall like this level i remember like the beginning was pretty normal teaching you about the gravity that it's using the story of what's going on and then it kind of slowly goes on to adding more structures adding more you know things that you can interact with and stuff like that and then it slowly goes into a cave where something happens and then you gotta run like really fast so that is completely different from what happened at the beginning and after that you will collect a a fan that you kind of spin up your head and then you can fly with it so it is it is really really unique you know what i'm saying like it is long and it doesn't use the same features over and over again write that down my dudes if you want to get a mythic level write that down and the ending also has like a small twist to it so overall this is like it's so far ticking every single thing that i just talked about storytelling excellent stuff so the small details that are added throughout the whole level the mushrooms and stuff like that tick and then we have the originality we have never seen stuff like that ticked no you know lock and door and stuff like that also also take like a lot of things that are really like really can you call them small details if you want to but they took him a lot of time to do and implement you may not really see them as huge things but they play a huge role into why this level got mythic in the first place and it totally deserves mythic this level is really really cool and another i think this is should, should be obvious but i'm just gonna be throwing it out there the gameplay cannot be terrible if you if your level has a terrible gameplay yeah don't forget about even a rate because even if your level had every single thing that i just talked about but the gameplay was terrible i don't even think that your level is going to even get rated because the gameplay element is the most important element of your whole level if the gameplay is annoying and the visuals are mythic or it's very original then nobody is gonna play that level because it's it's either boring or the gameplay is terrible you know so you gotta make sure that your gameplay is really really fun and yeah if you have a part that you think is very hard or unbalanced i you gotta fix that like all these basic things basically i don't have to really go through them i think you guys already know these things if you have watched the tutorials on my main channel as well called x creator goal a lot of people apparently don't know that i have a main channel called x creator goal it has about 200k subs that's actually where i make my like high quality content so i would really recommend you guys watching that channel as well for like some really engaging content and stuff like that so another thing that we see especially in the tower verse is how it has this theme of glowy thingy that you should keep yourself onto you can see here this awesome animation stuff like that and you can see that another thing that i also picked on is Sorry. the attention to detail you can see that there's there's so many like tiny things that this guy uses and it just makes this level basically fit perfectly and like just like i told you guys this level had a basic beginning teaching you guys what the heck is going on and then it goes into like a completely different portal this is really important because if you were like a normal guy you would just you know 
sweep through this and then change into low gravity. I'm going to show you guys the effect. So you can see now if I go through the portal, boom, this whole effect happens where you can only see things that are close to you and really low gravity, slow game and stuff like that. So you can't just make the player move around and then all of a sudden this happens. So this guy got creative and added this portal. This was, there were thoughts behind this. It, it didn't just appear out of nowhere, you know? You gotta get really creative when it comes to doing these type of things. And, and again, it's not just a door collecting thingy, but it, has, it actually has like a nice twist to it where the, the gravity is low. There's something going on because you just went into a portal. So it is really, really unique. Even though you use a feature that has been used a lot in levels, it has its own twist, which makes it totally fine. And of course, of course, after all of these things that I have talked about on how to get mythic, you also have to tick all of the check boxes on how to get a rated level in the first place. You can't just be making a average recent tab level <laughs> that is a platformer level and make it get a mythic. You can't do that. You have to also make it unplayable. Design should be unique, you know, like all of these things that I and are pretty much basic when it comes to getting a creator point. And I think you can also go to help and then links and then the rating system. And then there you will see exactly how how you can achieve. A, we can actually go through it real quick. My mic, what the heck is going on? So the okay, so first of all, sorry for the flashbang. Second of all, here we can see a bunch of basic stuff. Your level should be at least 30 seconds. That is very basic. If it's a platformer level, it should also be around like more than 30 seconds of pure gameplay. The gameplay, the decent visuals also play a big part of your level getting rated in the first place. And the variety of styles, you need like a variety of like styles throughout the level. I think it's also something that is really cool. Also the tower verse done. It's not like the exact same style over and over again, but it rather kind of changes. So you know that you are proceeding through the level. I think this is really important. A lot of people say that you should have you're leveled into a like a completely set theme with set design with set everything that you cannot change. I think this is a terrible advice. I think you should rather change throughout the level so that the player feels like they are proceeding when they see these new designs. So for example, if you have a let's say you have a platformer level and it is in a factory or something and then the factory has a factory design and then you trigger something that completely destroys this factory and then it's like a completely different design with like really destruction type of design so that is really cool then uh, you feel like it is a different place than before which, which is also really really important and also you, your levels should be optimized they can't they can't be like just levels with random, you know, unoptimized stuff. You gotta optimize your stuff so that everyone can play it uh, without any lags. And this is also, I think, one of the reasons why 3Depth didn't get the Mythic, even though it's pretty much ticked almost every single thing that I just talked about. And that is, that is actually, yeah, that is pretty much it. It is, if you think about it truly, like, you will, you just take a look, if you, like, really play these levels from beginning to end, if you rewatch this video a bunch of times and take notes, like, deeply on details, I think that if you work for a few months, you can get yourself a Mythic rated level. If you really go on to every single detail that I talked about, I think this is definitely a doable thing. And I might actually aim for getting a mythic rated low. However, for me, it is hard because I have three channels I have to run and I have a lot of other things. But Industrial Escape is coming and I hope it's going to get a very huge rating. A lot of things that I talked about right now have been implemented. So we're going to have to see how that's going to play. But yeah, we're going to have to see. I guess that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something new. I love like this video was probably one of my favorite to make because it was just teaching you guys stuff, teaching you guys things that I know, which I think is really, really cool. I, I love helping people. You guys are very cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And yeah, we have some fan arts actually. Join my Discord server right now. We have some fan art. You have this one done in four objects. That is how? Ah, one, two, three, four. That is actually really cool. I love it. And then we have the wow. This one looks so good. It's like 3D, bro. I love this. 
Ryan JS, no wonder why he's talented. This is absolutely brilliant. Yo, <laughs> that is me. Oh my god, look how I'm jumping. This is, I like it. This is also pretty cool. Pedor W on that. And yeah, I think that is it. Let me know if you, yeah, let me just know in the comment section what you guys think of my tips and thoughts and things and stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.